How's your day been and what did you get up to? It's been good. We went to Embry Castle, a little bit wet, but um, to see the actual castle and the history of Scotland has been fantastic. How's the team feeling after the big flight? Yeah, the flight was long, but we are feeling pretty good. Um, we obviously had the thing where we had a nutrition plan and what we had to, or like BSCs, what we had to wear, so, and they were fantastic for the flight, so thank you BSC, appreciate it. Um, but it, it, it was a long flight, 27 hours all up, but uh, we've done the planning for that, we knew that it was coming, so hopefully it won't make a real big difference to us at all. What's the feeling like in the team at the moment? Um, very good. Uh, we had a, um, a trainer run today and it went really well. Um, just blew a few of the cobwebs out, went through a few drills, played a, a bit of six on six against each other and yeah, it was pretty good. What have you told the debutants in the team about World Cups? Well, I haven't actually said to, or well, we've had a little bit, but really trying to save it for tomorrow because I think it's very special for, I mean, for, well, there's a few people debuting, let alone playing in a World Cup. So the thing is to be playing in a World Cup massive thing so the thing is hopefully tomorrow they'll start to get goosebumps um, like I am now so I, every time I speak about playing for Australia I get the goosebumps because I think it's that much of an honour so the thing is hopefully tomorrow those boys will get goosebumps playing for Australia and, um, and I'm sure they will because we've got an absolutely magnificent bunch of boys at, um, and the big thing about them is that they're a team not a bunch of individuals so um, which is really good so I think we'll do great out there. Can you tell me a bit about your day tomorrow who you've got? Uh, tomorrow we got uh, Luxembourg first up, followed by um, Japan. And really, our big one's our first one, just to make sure that we get in there, that we play as a team. Because the thing is, if we play as an individual, like, like I've, I've found that a team will always be a group of individuals, and that, especially um, at, at a higher level, that's how, how it works. And um, last year when we played Masters, we played as a team, and it made a big difference towards the end of the trans Tasman series in Townsville and the thing is if we can continue on and we've got the majority of the group here that have done it so if we do that then I think it'll make a big difference to how we actually perform. And what's the story with the Wombat? He's been oh, travelling around a bit. Oh, <laughs> Rexy, um, we've got to take him on every team function or everywhere we go. There's, uh, we've got a few ground rules. Um, yeah, we've got to take him everywhere we go. Um, there's actually a 50, we got a bit of a team rule. If you can get photos with him, there's 50p off your team fines. So we, we had a few at um, the Embra Castle days, quite a few photos, um, even a bit of street busking to try and get a, a little bit of um, people to take photos with us. So it was um, quite good. There's a couple of rules he cannot um, sit on the ground and get dirty. So it, you'll see him at the grounds, um, he'll be on a towel or something like that. So <laughs> yeah. it's actually quite good. It's um, I mean, one of the fun things about the actual, um, just, isn't it? breaks up the, the team stuff, so it's quite good.